This is Catholic Daily Mass Readings and Reflections for August 5, 2023, Saturday of the 17th week in Ordinary Time. First reading, a reading from the book of Leviticus, chapter 25, verses 1 and 8 to 17. The Lord spoke to Moses on Mount Sinai, saying, You shall count seven weeks of years, seven times seven years, so that the time of the seven weeks of years shall give you forty-nine years. Then you shall sound the loud trumpet on the tenth day of the seventh month. On the day of atonement you shall sound the trumpet throughout all your land, and you shall consecrate the fiftieth year and proclaim liberty throughout the land to all its inhabitants. It shall be a jubilee for you, when each of you shall return to his property, and each of you shall return to his clan. That fiftieth year shall be a jubilee for you. In it you shall neither sow nor reap what grows of itself, nor gather the grapes from the unrest wines. For it is a jubilee. It shall be holy to you. You may eat the produce of the field. In this year of jubilee, each of you shall return to his property. And if you make a sale to your neighbor or buy from your neighbor, you shall not wrong one another. You shall pay your neighbor according to the number of years after the jubilee, and he shall sell to you according to the number of years of for crops. If the years are many, you shall increase the price, and if the years are few, you shall reduce the price, for it is the number of the crops that he is selling to you. You shall not wrong one another, but you shall fear your God, for I am the Lord your God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Response, real sum. Your response. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. O God, be gracious and bless us, and let your face shed its light upon us. So will your ways be known upon earth, and all nations learn your salvation. Your response, let the peoples praise you, O God, let all the peoples praise you. Let the nations be glad and shout for joy. With uprightness you rule the peoples. You guide the nations on earth. Your response, let the peoples praise you, O God, let all the peoples praise you. The earth has yielded its fruit, for God our God has blessed us. May God still give us his blessing, that all the ends of the earth may revere him. Your response, let the peoples praise you, O God, let all the peoples praise you. The acclamation, Alleluia, Alleluia. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Alleluia, Alleluia. Gospel, a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew chapter 14 verses 1 to 12. At that time, Herod the Tetrarch heard about the fame of Jesus and he said to his servants, this is John the Baptist. He has been raised from the dead. That is why these miraculous powers are at work in him. For Herod had seized John and bound him and put him in prison for the sake of Herodias, his brother Philip's wife, because John had been saying to him, It is not lawful for you to have her. And though he wanted to put him to death, he feared the people because they held him to be a prophet. But when Herod's birthday came, the daughter of Herodias danced before the company and pleased Herod, so that he promised with an oath to give her whatever she might ask. 
prompted by her mother, she said, Give me the head of John the Baptist here on a platter. And the king was sorry. But because of his oaths and his guests, he commanded it to be given. He sent and had John beheaded in the prison. And his head was brought on a platter and given to the girl. And she brought it to her mother. And his disciples came and took the body and buried it. And they went and told Jesus. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today's reflection on the readings. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus. Today's gospel reading from Matthew chapter 14 verses 1 to 12 tells us that if we do as the crowd wants, we may have to live with the guilt and the shame for the rest of our lives. I wonder if for the rest of Herod's life, he regretted having John beheaded. He knew he had not been strong enough to do what he truly believed was right. Hopefully, he learned from this devastating experience. Dear friends, today's gospel reading from Matthew chapter 14 verses 1 to 12 invites you and me to be careful in our actions, choices and decisions. Because these all impact others, the community, as well as our own lives. My dear friends, and so let each of us make thoughtful, loving and righteous decisions. Dear friends, may God grace us with wisdom and insight. My dear friends, at times in our lives, we do need to stand up for what we believe is right and just. Otherwise, we may have to be afraid and guilty of the conscience of our acts of unfairness. Our conscience will be bothering us. We will not be able to sleep soundly at night. My dear family of Mother Mary's protection, what we need to learn is John is dead and his ministry is over. Herod is dead and his kingdom is no longer. But because of the resurrection, Jesus is alive. His kingdom grows. His ministry continues and his story never ends. Let each of us Trust Jesus, for he is our true God and friend. Prayer Lord of the dead and of the living, we thank you for the gift of life on this earth. Help us, Lord, that we may tell the truth or to be the messengers of the truth, no matter who gets hurt. Today we pray in particular for mothers, that they may show examples of good deeds, to their children and not to teach them to sin. Amen. My dear friends, please do like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching. God bless you.